So let's talk about two of my favorite people on Instagram. Two of my favorite people on Instagram. We're going to be talking about money today and how to build financial wealth and to have financial freedom. So let's go. So there are plenty of ways. First of all, my name is Lisa from lisalanaola.com, right? There are plenty of ways to get out of debt and to build wealth and to gain financial freedom, right? There are plenty of ways. There are plenty of people online teaching us what to do. So one of my favorite people who I just found out about in about 2018, 2019, although he's been around for a very long time, Mr. Dave Ramsey, he has seven steps, seven steps to build wealth and to gain financial freedom and then you have this newcomer new up and coming matt the money guy i like to follow him on instagram he gives a lot of financial tips on how to gain financial freedom matt the money guy right so they both have pillars they both have ways to gain financial freedom so today i'm going to be going over both because i think they're both great i believe that if you have a stepping stone something to follow it's easier to gain financial freedom instead of just trying to wing it and do it on your own. If you have steps to follow, it's so much easier to get out of debt and to gain financial freedom. And I'm going to tell you which one I like better and which one I would have I would follow, right? I do follow. So Dave Ramsey, his first step is save a thousand dollars. Save a thousand dollars in a beginner emergency fund. Matt's first tip is to invest in your 401k to employer match. I say, if you don't have a savings account or anything at all, then you can go with Dave's Ramsey save $1,000. But to me, I think that Matt's step is so much better because if you're just, the goal is to automate automate savings, right? To make sure that you're saving any way that you can, right? So if you automate automate savings into your 401k, you already won. You already got the first step. You already did that and you're already saving, right? So I think automating savings is the way to go. And if you can just put money into your 401k, if your company is matching 3%, 6%, whatever it is, do the company match and you'll be on your way to financial freedom. I think this is the way to go. Matt's second step is to make an emergency fund. Make an emergency fund, right? And Dave's is to pay off all your debt. Pay off all debt that you have, and then Matt's is make an emergency fund. I would go with Matt's step first. If I'm following all the steps, I would follow Matt's step, his second step, which is make an emergency fund. So invest in my 401k. I'm automatic, I'm automating savings. Number two, I'm making an emergency fund. So I can also automate that savings too. I can, which I do. This that's what I do. I take out money, put it into my 401k before I see my paycheck. And I also put money into my savings before I even see a paycheck so that those things are automatic. Then Matt has pay off high interest debt, which I agree with because after you have your savings done, after you have your savings automa automated, because I, I want to say automatic, that's why I keep saying automated. It's once you have your savings automatic, then you can pay off your high interest debt, right? You'll be able to just start throwing money at debt. So if you have ten thousand dollars in debt, you can just start throwing your money in debt. But the first thing I think is to have your savings be automated. Next, Matt wants you to max out your four hundred one k. And Dave, after you've paid all your debt, he wants you to save three to six months. I would go with Dave. I would go with Dave at that point because you need to have three to six months worth of savings before, before you can even start maxing out your 401k. You have to have savings before you can even max out all your 401k and all that. You have to have paid off your debt and save three to six months worth of emergency savings. So that I would that I would agree with Dave on should be the next step. So then Matt says, max out your IRA is number five. Dave says, save for college, send your child, 
you want to send your child off to college or you want to have savings for them so if you have a child you can do that my daughter's already 25 so i'm done with all that so i would follow this this would be the next step on that right then matt says you want to pay off your lowest interest debt and then you invest extra cash in your brokerage account dave says pay off your house and build wealth and give so they're basically saying the same thing pay off your lower interest debt, which is your mortgage and your house, and then you're building wealth. So the steps that I follow, I follow both, but I don't follow them in the same order. So I would, number one, invest in my 401k, right? Invest in my 401k. I would make an emergency fund, right? Make an emergency fund, whether it be $1,000, $2,000, you make an emergency fund. Then I would follow Dave and say, pay off all debt. I would pay off all debt with that. And I would then save three to six months of emergency savings. So what I would do is invest in my 401k, make a small emergency fund, like a thousand or two thousand dollars. Then I would pay off all my debt and then save three to six months worth of savings here. I personally would do them both at the same time while I'm paying off debt. I'm automating savings, right, from that thing. Then I would, um, then I would save three to six months, invest, invest some of my income for retirement, which we were already doing. I would pay off the house, pay off the low interest house, the low interest mortgage, and then build wealth and give. So this is great. But I would add these two, I would add this at the top, invest in my 401k. So if I'm going to make my own pillars, I'm going to do one here and then go from here on down. I don't have to save for the college, so I would pay off my lower interest debt and invest extra cash into a brokerage account while I build wealth. So I hope it's not too complicated. I try to make it easy to follow, but if you want to build financial wealth and you want to gain financial freedom... Dave Ramsey is a great person to follow on Instagram, follow on YouTube, and Matt the Money Guy is on Instagram. Love the content that he's been putting out. They've both been very helpful to me in gaining knowledge, and I just wanted to share that with you. So don't be afraid to talk about money. Don't be afraid to learn how to, to grow. And if you want to learn how to start your emergency savings fund, yes, I'm here to help you. I am actually starting a challenge April 1st of this year where you'll be able to save your start saving for money in your to put into your first emergency fund how exciting is that isn't that so exciting so i want you to start your own emergency fund and either one that you follow they'll they'll let you know that that is something that is a must either one either step that you go with you need an emergency fund so Sign up. The link is going to be below in the description. Put your email in and I'll reach out to you if you want to start your first emergency fund. You don't have any money saved and you want to start saving. I'm teaching you how with a 30-day challenge. Sign up now. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. So don't forget to sign up in the description. Have a good day. See ya.